You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, do you like action figures? Do you like vintage collection action figures? If you do, you're going to love this new re-release of Princess Leia Organa. Not a re-release, but this is the first time this version of Princess Leia has been seen on a vintage-style card like this in 20 years, since uh, 2004's The Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. That's going back. That's uh, 2004 shouldn't be 20 years ago, but sadly it is. Um, this time... I think they've absolutely nailed it. I've been really, really looking forward to this version of Princess Leia. Much needed upgrade. It's been asked for for years. Hasbro looks like they've delivered. Um, yeah, very much looking for an upgrade. I was very excited to hear too that Luke Hunt and Ben Kenobi are all due for upgrades um, in the next 6 to 12 months, I suppose, coming to the Vintage Collection. Nice to see them putting this card out. It's still just, you know, that beautiful classic Kenner card got the Hildebrandt brothers sort of painting up the top so they've moved that warning logo down the bottom which is cool um you know they could probably have completely eliminated it being that half the back of it is uh you know all warnings and extra stuff so there is the picture VC 316 so yeah it's uh you've got two blasters got the swap out hood so you can have the hood up or down depending on what scene you'd like to depict layer um yeah very thrilled to bust this one open so we're going to do exactly that let's spin around and have a look all right folks here is princess layer free from her plastic prison we have accessory wise we do have her little i'm going to call it like a, a, a an older round sporting pistol or something like that you know, this one actually looks pretty good. Nice, nicely sculpted. Nice and clean. Looks good. Nice, nice sort of clean sculpt on that. Not sure whether it's it's new. Thankfully, it's it's not that sort of weird, really sort of soft, rubbery plastic. A little bit of bend and give to it, but it's not going to fold around on itself, which is nice. That's a nice improvement. Here we've got the E11. Nice little silver silver touch there on the on the gun there. That looks nice. So again, this has probably been used a few quite a few times now. And you know, it works. It's it's totally, totally fine. And then of course we get her her hood. Her upward hood, we'll get a look at that in a moment when we uh, take a look over the figure and just sort of see how it all sits. So yeah, just, that's it for accessories. What more do you need, really? So now we take a good, good close look at Leia. You know what? I know a lot of people weren't super fanatical about the lack of soft goods. Um, I, for one, like the aesthetic of the figure to sort of flow all the way throughout. So it's plastic on the top, plastic on the bottom. That works for me. Um, I was more than happy. I think this. I think they've absolutely nailed the sculpt. There's been a few figures in the past that uh, we'll do. I'll do a comparison at the end to the to the 2004 release that I spoke about at the, at the beginning of the video. But um, yeah, I think they've absolutely cooked up a cooked up a winner here, which is great. This is, for me, it's definitive. Each to their own, of course. I know some people would prefer the soft goods, but for me, yeah, not not totally necessary. So let's get a nice close-up look at the face of young Carrie, young Carrie Fisher. That looks pretty nice to me. A figure of this size, the the details are just. Really nice, really nice likeness there. Got the star puffs, the space buns. Sculpted on there really well. Again, we've got this sort of, the loose sort of draping fallen back hood. And that just sort of pegs in. But 
yeah, it looks good. Yeah, in terms of paint detail, you know, there's not a really a lot else going on. I like the sculpt of the hands, they look nice. It's got a little bit of silver detail there on her belt. Which sort of sits underneath the drape of her of her shirt. Same with the back. Yeah, a couple of little couple of little panels there. I don't really need any more than that. And then if we lift up what we can, you can see the sculpt of her boots there. It's black on the base. And there is some articulation up there. So I imagine that could be used for other layers in the future. Look at the feet are quite big on this figure. I don't know. To do a little side by side with the uh, with the OG here before we get a close look. There's a bit of difference there between the, the size of the feet. But you know what? If that aids in posability and standability of this figure, gives it a little bit more surface area. And you, honestly, you can't see it. You can't see it. Not a big deal whatsoever. It's gonna. It, it is. It's gonna make the figure a little bit easier to stand up on. So yeah, let's take a look. Like I showed, that downward hood that just pegs in. And this one doesn't have a peg, but it should sort of just drape over the hole there. So look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's nice. So you can have a sort of stealthily walking around the Tantive 4 if you've got yourself that playset. Give her... Give her her little blaster there. Yeah, that's really nicely done. Well done, Hasbro. Good done a good job with that hood. Just the way it sort of sits over the head looks good. Looks nice. Sort of draped over the buns. It's not sort of covering her head or anything. And yeah, the fact that you got that little drop just to cover over that peg hole. Very nice. Well designed. A well put together little droid. But yeah, for me, I think I'll be displaying her with it down. I don't know, I just feel like that's the that's the classic layer run around running around the Death Star. Should look good. Posed up with her with her comrades Luke and Han and Chewie. Looking forward to those new Han and Luke's very much in need of updates. I'm glad they're uh, in the pipeline. Let's take a look at the articulation, shall we? She has a ball jointed neck, ball jointed head. So you've got those sort of double neck joints. So ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. So you get a nice, nice bend there. You can have her. Holding a blaster with two, two hands. Just swivels in the hands at the wrist there. Just a little bit dainty. Yeah, a little bit too much to get a joint in there. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's got a swivel, swivel joint there at the torso. It could be a ball joint in there. I'm not sure. And then yeah, if we look down, there are there is some knee articulation. I can't tell what the. All right, there's some. We're going there, guys. Sorry. There's some ball and socket there at the hips, which, you know, that's not going to be moved. And the knees are probably not going to be moved either. She does have ball hinges in the ankles and a rocker joint in the foot. So you can just, you know, get that slightly wider stance just to increase balance. And, uh, yeah, she's looking good. And last but not least, we're going to do the peg test. Got here my Kessel Run, Kessel Run stands. Check them out, kesselrunhair.com. Link in the bio, in the description. Yeah, she stands stands nicely. The nice white clean stand there looks good. So looks good. Let's do a little little side by side with the two thousand and four version of Leia. 
which honestly has has served its purpose for a very long time. It's uh, it's done a good job. It's time to retire. I wonder. I wonder. It could. Yeah. The white's not the same. It's a little bit a little bit dated and yellowed on this old one, whether that was original or not. And the back sort of doesn't come off. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this aside and, uh, and uh, retire this 2004 and four layer to the uh, accessory box. You know, maybe if I can fit her in another scene somewhere, I might. But, yeah, it's time to uh, put this new one on show because this is, this is 20 years in between these two figures, folks. This is... Um, this is good stuff. This is, uh, yeah, the prices are a lot higher than they were back then, but so is everything. <laughs> everything is higher than what it was back then. In terms of height, the new one's just a fraction, fraction taller. But yeah, the details in comparison to 2004 are absolutely impeccable. Beautiful figure. I hope you've enjoyed checking it out, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And we'll see you again for some more reviews very soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.